Johnson, Judith Myers from John Carpenter's Halloween, and you're listening to the Movie Raid Show. It's time for the Movie Raid, and tonight's victim is actress and model Sandy Johnson that has played in John Carpenter's Halloween, Gas Pump Girls, amongst others. Hello. What have we been up to lately? Are we just kind of just kicking back until Halloween? Uh, well, no, I've been very busy with podcasts and acting lessons, and I have a drive-in event coming up in Pennsylvania, so it's actually been pretty busy. Now, uh, yeah, when when a role or uh, film becomes popular, you, do you think that an actor can reflect that, uh, that moment to feel more accomplished than when you actually first did the role, like Halloween, for example? Oh, absolutely. At the time, it was pretty much just another film, and I mean, it was fun. We had a good time and everything, but I don't think really any of us expected it to other be, you know, other than just a drive-in movie type film. Now, of course, with it being such an iconic film and so many followers around the world, world there's definitely a lot of pride associated with it. oftentimes when someone does play a minor role or even a smaller role than that and the film happens to be successful over the course of the year, years, and so forth, that you really don't take it really too hard to that minor role. They probably didn't think, oh, well, this, this isn't going to go anywhere. And and then when, like, let's say 20 years pass, right, and then you, you've been in a lot more other roles, does that really make a better impact for you that, hey, I did something really cool that established itself over time because people take notice? Do you think that is what took notice for yourself or is it the film itself where the audience has taken notice what you have accomplished yourself as well? Well, my films were all shot within a year of each other, so there really wasn't enough time passed. I do believe that the films that I'll be working on in the future, there's a definite connection, of course, to Halloween and Judith Myers more so than the other films for sure. Now, even though you've played this role and it has become very well known, how do you keep yourself almost away from that to the point where you're not just hooked on to that role that when you do other roles, how do you keep yourself kind of separated from your other roles compared to the one that you've been famed for? Well, I take each role, you know, individually with character development and really thinking about that role. So there's really not a connection in my mind to Halloween. I don't guess there's really a connection there when I'm thinking about what I'm doing currently. Because oftentimes people would always be asked by that when someone is more about asking specifically about that, they're not really uh, looking into what other works you've been doing. So I, I can imagine sometimes it could affect someone's work or even the working performance in a film. Being involved with between modeling and mixing with film roles, how do you ensure character is represented over character appeal? You know, I just spend a lot of time going through the roles feeling the emotions without any facial expressions, really. So each one is unique, and um, I just develop it, you know, when I have the sides or the information for the modeling job. Usually people that are in the modeling specifically, and when they are offered a job in a film, they're usually more of a fitting role rather than having to actually act out a role. Do you think now it's better established, or do you think that's still kind of an issue at times? I think it's still a common combination, even though you might get hired because of a particular role or particular look, I think that there are probably other people that also have that, so you need to set yourself apart through the performance or the way you develop uh, your work. And modeling, it, and there's nothing wrong with that because it does help a characterization in a film or other films that you might be involved with, but mainly just be there to just look good or a specific way how to look. Do you think that can actually affect the mentally as well, or do you think that they can actually structure someone's performance, even though they don't have a, a lot of experience in acting? Yeah, I think it's helpful because there's a lot of the same things that go into modeling as there would be with commercial or, you know, or film work. It's still a lot of it is mental, just the different equipment capturing it. Now, working between genres such as comedy to horror, how does shifting focus to a different genre affect you, especially when you are mixing with your modeling mixing with dark emotion in this case? It's difficult for sure to, to stay focused and to know which one really pursue for me because I haven't been in any of them for a long time so I'm still trying to sort it all out because I do enjoy comedy and I enjoy drama and I enjoy horror. It's kind of an interesting dilemma for me right now fighting who I am. Would you say this is a whole new perspective view as time continues to move on after uh, not performing for so long? Do you almost feel like you have to start over sometimes or do you feel like you uh, have a, a new way to uh, reinvent yourself? 
I do. I mean, it's been a wonderful opportunity. The film that I will be doing in the UK is actually a horror film. I hope to do a lot more horror films. But I also, like I said, I love comedy. I love drama. I love love stories. So hopefully there'll be plenty of opportunities in more than one genre. If an audience and actually just mostly sees your work as a model, how would you define the difference from fitting a, a character to really presenting your character toward other audiences? audiences, especially if it's different countries or even through social media or any other kind of mediums? Do you feel like you have to almost prove yourself that you, more than what you perceive yourself as, as representation? Yeah, probably. I mean, I'm going to have to have monologues and things on my actor's reel. It's been a long time, so I have obviously a a very different look. It's been (laughs) 40 some years, so continuum in a way, but it's also developing a new person and a new actress, selling myself as that as well. Now, where do you want to pursue yourself once things get back on track and as well as your acting in other roles and so forth gets back in gear? Where's the best area to show your new reinvention of yourself at? Where do you particularly want to go? Is it like comedy? Is it drama that you really want to get back in gear for? Well, uh, right now I'm working with my acting coach and we're actually doing both comedy and dramatic he actually likes me doing them both and i enjoy them both so that's kind of a hard question so yeah i guess if i had to put one above the other just a little bit it would probably be comedy would you rather go to like theatrical more of a stage performances as more of a uh, kickstarter for you in this case or is this is this what you really want to actually work on for the most part theater isn't really an option for me because I live rural, so I need things that happen more quickly. I wouldn't have to be away from home for longer periods of time. So film and print work, commercial things is is probably what I'll need to stick to. Do you prefer to work in more of the uh, smaller budget type of film companies as long as it's within your area? Would actually help you better for performance-wise as well? Um, I think that smaller independent films would be a great place for me to start. It will give me a chance to, you know, get used to working with different directors, different actors, different scenarios. Things have changed a lot technology-wise. Plus, I'm really kind of a people person, and I would think that those sets would be probably friendlier and more personal, which is something I really enjoy. Now, how would you get your motivation back after not performing for so long? What really sparked to really want you to motivate yourself or even get motivated to get back into the acting classes, get back into working in different ways to perform? What really motivate to get that motivation again just to get back into it? Well, when I left acting to begin with, it wasn't really a choice. I I got married and we needed to move away. And then I, you know, went to school and became a teacher and everything just kind of went a different way. I never really just wanted to leave acting because I loved it. So for me, it's just kind of like coming back home. And when I started doing the cons and things and, and visiting with the other actors who were actively doing things, it just got juices flowing again for how much I have loved that. My life isn't over yet, so there's probably still time to do it again. And the other fact is, there's a lot of things that could happen in someone's life to prevent them, like like you mentioned, and, and money issues, and probably lack of work, and all those other things in, in, in between. Of course, today's events as well. But motivation is almost hard to come by if, if one steps off that stage, steps out of that role, and doesn't come back for a long time. And Do you ever feel that you might have been lost for a little bit, and you found it now or would you say that you're finding yourself now but in a different light yeah i would say my motivation is different whenever i was shooting movies originally i was originally of course i was trying to make money so that my father could have cancer treatment so that's kind of where it all started and then it just continued on to trying to be you know successful i was a depressed kind of teenager not not very happy so it was more of a way of getting away from life I guess and today of course it's totally different I'm definitely not a depressed person I'm very happy person so now it's more of sort of a joyful adventure not so much a way to escape reality and when other actors especially uh, young women has gone through this kind of journey themselves let's say they end up being the same between modeling and, and going to acting would you try to inspire your own way of this I mean, how would they be inspired by you if you could give something back to them, this kind of format? I don't know. 
I guess that motivation kind of comes from within. I, I mean, if they've done things and they want to get back into it, I mean, they just have to look within and see if that's something they really enjoy. Is it would it be beneficial for their life? I know I feel like it is in my life. And oftentimes, uh, a lot of actresses are just either doing it to make some money and and some of them are just doing it for the pure experience and and that's okay too but at the same time it can be very rough especially now in today's events and having to figure out what's what and where it's at and do you think there should be a, a secondary option to get that acting out like doing acting reels as far as different parts like through social media and stuff do you think that's really the best method at the at the moment yeah at the moment of course it's know with COVID I mean everything is upside down so it is most of the interviews right now are online through Zoom and Skype and the like so it's just a good time I guess to work from home and and get coaching and develop your skills so that you're ready when things do go back to normal with regular interviews and such. Go ahead and plug in any websites or any projects that we can check out right now or anything that you'd like to share with everyone else added to it. I'm on IMDb There you have it, everybody. That is actress Sandy Johnson.